every aspect, in every program that we do, it's about supporting those who are supporting others. We have a little tagline that we use that who's taking care of you while you're taking care of others. Mm -hmm. Right? And because the burnout, it's the burnout that worries me. The burnout and the pain and, and the triggers. Because what most people who go into this kind of work, activism work, black people, we just, we've been doing activism work forever, right? That's just yeah. who we are based on our history. For us to be able to serve our communities and grow sustainable communities, we have to sustain, learn, relearn what it means to sustain ourselves, to nourish ourselves and to love ourselves, right? Otherwise, how are we loving and liberating others? Yeah. The programming that we do across Canada with um, wellness and self-care in, in the social service sector. So um, we, our workshop focuses on um, offering gentle tools, um, spiritual tech, like healing tools that um, can be done in the workplace that need to be done to make sure that we are self-sustaining, to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves so that we can then take care of others. Um, again, um, the programming that we're doing with young, young people, so mindfulness meditation. So definitely making sure that uh, we're touching each of the different stages and, and just educating people and, and just helping them remember, because these are all things that we know but seem to forget in the you know, hustle and bustle of everyday life. So it's um, really um, a great journey as we um, yeah, help people remember and get back to love, self-care, mm -hmm. and just giving from a place of, of peace. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how, you know, we can support BFF by saying this is normal, like this is, our very existence is political and we're doing it with joy and love. And you know, it's, it's not just like straight lace and it's everything. Mm -hmm. Joy. Mm -hmm. Because I am over seeing too many of us who are feminists who are doing the work angry. And when we are angry, it affects our body. And it affects our mind, it affects everything around us. Totally, we absolutely need passion for the work that we're doing or we won't be able to do it. And to shift anything, we need passion. But let's not replace passion with anger. And let's not carry the history of pain so much in, on our back that we bring it into our work and we bring it into, into our lives, right? So I feel that what we can do is to help to create that balance, that harmony of doing the work and taking care of self. Since 13 years in Ottawa, deciding to make a suicide pact because of the legacies of colonialization, of genocide. I think of BLM Tio Tan City, yeah. of the police liaisons, yeah. of the ASL interpreters, yeah. the tax folk, the site coordinators, yeah. the cleanup crew, the food makers, yeah. the drummers, the dancers, the 3 a.m. gas runners, the de-escalators, the donators, the organizers, the singers, the childcare team, the allies, the indigenous and black folks who held us down, the sex working economies that made the rapidly response possible, the queer and poor and trans and disabled people who gave everything they had. Black Lives Matter on indigenous land. entire world is in a moving time. Hungry burned all monotons of crops. Brazil is rising. South Africa is rising. The world is rising. And we are rising with it. We are rising here. What will they say about us in 10 years? Will the story be that May Day of 2016 provide, proved to be a catalyst? That we took back the streets? That we took back the city? That we decolonized or recolonized? That we fought for all oppressed people? Or that we only fought for some? That we changed the world? Or that we gathered one day of the year? We have one thing over the state. 
the state with its infinite resources. Hello, we're with Decolonize Now, so we have a chat. It's a call and response, so when I sing it, you just sing back what I'm saying, okay?